how many hours are in 549 minutes? And we can write it as a decimal or a fraction. So essentially, we're going to take 549 minutes and divide them into groups of 60. Why 60? Because we know that one hour, one hour is equal to 60 minutes. So it's essentially saying, how many groups of 60 minutes can we divide 549 into? Or another way of thinking about that is, well, what is 549 divided into groups of 60? This is how many hours we're going to have. So let's do that. Let's take 549 and divide it by, and divide it by 60. So six, let's see, six goes into 54 nine times. So 60 is going to go into 549 times. We're going to have a little bit left over. So we have nine. Nine times 60 is 540. We subtract. We have nine left over. I'll bring down the, let's see, we have nine left over. And now, let's see, we have a little left over, so we're going to get a decimal. So let's put a decimal place right over here. And let's throw some zeros over there. Let's bring down a zero. So we bring down a zero. 60 goes into 90 one time. One times 60 is 60. And we subtract, we get 30. Let's bring down another zero. And so we get to 300. 60 goes into 300 five times. Five times 60, five times six is 30. So five times 60 is 300. Subtract, and we are done. So you divide 549 into groups of 60. You can divide it into 9.15 groups of 60 minutes. A group of 60 minutes is an hour. So this 549 minutes is 9.15 hours. And I want to make sure that we can visualize that, visualize that properly. So let's, let's actually construct what 9.15 hours looks like. So let me draw a little line here. And on the top, I'll label hours. And on the bottom, I'll label minutes. So this is 0 hours, 0 minutes. And now we have 1 hour, which is 60 minutes. Now we have 2 hours, which is 120 minutes. Then you have 3 hours, which is 180 minutes. Then you have 4 hours, which is 240 minutes. 5 hours is 300 minutes. 6 hours is 360 minutes. 7 hours, I might be running out of space, is 420 minutes. Let me copy and paste this in place where I have more real estate. So let me. Clear that, and then let me paste that someplace where I don't run into my other math that I did. All right. So then you have eight hours is 480 minutes, and then you have nine hours. Notice I'm just adding 60 minutes every time. Nine hours is 540 minutes. Or another way you could think about it is, well, if each hour is 60, nine times 60 is 540, and we don't want to go to just 540. We have another nine left. So then we have to go. We have to go another. We have to go another nine minutes to go to 549. So you have a little nine minutes left over. So another way of thinking about this is that 549 is nine hours, and then you have nine minutes left over. And nine minutes is what is what fraction of an hour? Well, 60 minutes is a whole hour. So nine minutes is nine sixtieths is 9 sixtieths of an hour. So you could write it this way. It's 9 and 9 sixtieths hours. Or we could write this as an equivalent fraction. 9 over 60 is the same thing if we divide the numerator and the denominator by 3. It's the same thing as 3 twentieths. So we could write this as 9 and 3 twentieths and 3 twentieths. And 3 over 20, well, we could figure out what that is going to be. Let's see, 20 divided by 3. Definitely going to be smaller than 1, because 3 is smaller than 20. So let's throw some zeros on here. 20 doesn't go into 3, but it does go into 30 one time. 1 times 20 is 20. Subtract, get a 10, bring down a 0. 20 goes into 100 five times. 5 times 20 is 100, and we are done. So notice, 3 over 20 is the exact same thing. So 9 and 3 20 it's, is the exact same thing as 9 and 15 hundredths, 9 and 15 hundredths. These are all equivalent answers.